people think that to be in physics you have to be really antisocial and like have no hygiene skills. But we're, we're mostly normal people. So. <laughs> Uh, I think I was surprised by the community here. My name is Sohan, I'm a fourth year here in the physics department. I do computational nuclear physics in the Alpha Seed group. There's really an environment here that fosters collaboration rather than competition. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect coming in. Getting to know the grad students here and seeing that they kind of had a nice work-life balance really drew me to, to this department. Yeah, so I would say the biggest thing for me was that uh, the grad students here seemed happy. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm a second year physics graduate student, um, and I work here in Wright Lab with the Relativistic Heavy Ion Group. Like six years is a long time to just sort of grit your teeth and bear it. So yeah, that was important to me. Of course, like, like everyone, I was really looking at places that I would really enjoy the research. I'm Samantha. I'm a first year physics PhD student, and I study nuclear physics. People are happy to be here, happy to be in their groups, happy to be doing research, and I think that just makes it a very special place. So I grew up in Mumbai, India, and that's kind of on the other side of the planet. Hi, I'm Aniket Maiti. I'm a second year graduate student in physics, and I work in quantum computing. I was very away from my family. They have this uh, concept of a first year office where everybody works together. And from there on, we had this sort of support network for friends, which is especially important if you're an international student and you don't have any anchor here. Yeah, I remember being a first year and even an undergraduate and thinking, wow, it's so amazing that scientists travel across the world. And now, you know, that is me. Hi, I'm Emily Kuhn. I'm a fourth year graduate student uh, here at Yale in the physics department, and I work with Professor Laura Newberg on experimental cosmology. I work on the Hyrax Array, which is this radio telescope that will be composed of a thousand dishes in South Africa. If you're interested in instrumentation, Wright Lab is an excellent place to come to. It's very easy to come in with broad interests, a broad skill set, and have some time to figure out what really, really interests you the most. It's a really great place to to live a life where you can have a backyard and hear birds chirping when you wake up, but also walk down the block to get, you know, groceries and also be at a really great restaurant in, you know, a block and a half. It, it just feels like the best of both worlds. We have the advanced facilities, but we also have great people that train you and teach you how to use them. Uh, hi, my name is Arena Bicador Vateas. I'm a first year graduate student studying neutrino physics. I think the unique thing about Wright Lab and the experience that I've had here is that I've been able to get my hands on a lot of actual experimental work. As an undergraduate, I worked on the PROSPECT experiment, uh, which is an, a neutrino detector near a nuclear reactor. I was able to have uh, ownership over a subsystem of the experiment, so both the hardware work and the physics analysis work uh, was really fundamental for, for my experience. The science I get to do here is incredible. Uh, we are the only dark matter experiment in the world right now trying to implement a squeeze state quantum receiver. And I just said trying, I didn't mean that, I did it. Hi, I'm Kelly Backus. I'm a fourth year physics PhD student here at Yale. I work on Haystack, which is an Axion dark matter experiment. One of the big things that made me choose Yale was actually this experiment, where I could really have ownership over the whole thing. I'm developing this technology to use red river atoms as um, uh, dark matter detectors. Um, I have to be in here a lot. So, um, I'm, my name is Shumita Ghosh. I am a fourth year PhD student in applied physics, actually, um, but I work in Wright Lab. The techniques that I use to do my research are um, AMO, Atomic Molecular and Optical Physics, and um, Quantum Information, um, which is like um, making qubits. Everything I need is in this building. Um, we have this machine shop, um, we have another professional machine shop, we have a smaller machine shop in the back that the people who work here allow me access to, which I'm very grateful for. There's the advanced prototyping um, workshop. I feel very lucky to be able to be here. Every professor in particle physics is just in the same little area. But also, like, socially, it's really tight here. It's definitely like 
a pretty encouraging place to not know what you're doing, which happens in physics like 90% of the time. So, Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm a second year graduate student in physics and I work in nuclear and particle experiments. The like spirit of collaborative innovation is pretty unique to Yale. I think leadership is something that I, I got to develop a lot. My name is Estela Barbosa de Souza, and I'm a six year PhD student here at Yale working on dark matter direct detection. Starting like uh, new groups uh, within the physics department helped me develop that leadership that is essential to taking next steps uh, into our career. So Yale Physics is like super involved with outreach programs. Girls Science Investigations is one of them. You can find the time for things that really matter to you. Good. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Jeremy Geisen. I'm a fifth year graduate student here in the physics department and I work with uh, neutrino detectors. And my name is Ryan Petersburg. I'm a fifth year PhD candidate and I work with uh, finding planets outside of our solar system. What's really exciting for me in particular here is that Karsten, our new chair, and Bonnie, our new DGS, are very aware of a lot of the issues that we face. Some of the major things that we've worked on in particular are, say, family care. So those students who want to come here having already started a family or wanting to start a family while they're here. There's a strong women in physics group and a really strong group of allies who are a part of it. There are visibly many parts of my identity um, that in some places have made it a little bit difficult to get work done. Um, that is not the case here. My PI is a woman of color as well, um, and she's always been extremely supportive. This is also the first place that I've ever been able to have the rainbow flag on my office wall. So the name of the club is Quark, uh, Queer Affiliated Friends of Physics. It's a little contrived, but um, if I've learned anything by being in physics, it's that most acronyms are really contrived. Um, having a space in the department just sort of can signal to students that this is a place where we're wel welcoming. I think if you are looking for an environment that's really warm and nurturing and has a big sense of community, and those are things that really matter to you, and then, of course, you're also very interested in this type of research, then this is definitely, I, I would recommend this place to anyone. Yeah, I, I enjoy a lot. I think I will miss a lot when I have to graduate <laughs> the people here.